now the next function that i need to create is in order to create a table by the name student let me define a function you can start with def followed by name of the function create table function symbol colon you can write the document string used to create a table now first i should establish a connection between python and uh, my sql now in order to create a connection we have already created a function by the name create connection so you can call that function here create connection now this function returns the connection object and the cursor object as answer so they can be stored in some variable connection comma cursor okay so you created a so by calling this function you created a connection between python and mysql after that from the default database mysql you change to class 12 so now you are in class 12 now let me display all the tables present in the database class 12 so i am going to execute an sql statement the statement is show tables okay and here the sql statement is executed the table names are there in the computer's memory by the name context area let me retrieve all the rows from the context area so fetch all but this is a function of the cursor object so cursor dot fetch all the result can be stored in a variable r so r contains all the table names let me check whether a table by the name student is present in r or not if so if uh, we want to check whether a table by the name student is present in r so if student in r but r is a list of tuples so each and every element of r is a tuple you cannot you cannot compare a string with a tuple so the string should be converted to a tuple and after that you should check whether the tuple is present in r how can you convert a string to tuple first write the string inside round brackets if the tuple contains only one element you need this comma it's part of syntax so if the table student is present in r then you don't have to do anything otherwise you should create a table by the name student let me run this sql statement str sql equals create table create table followed by name of the table student okay now let me continue it in the next line so backward slash okay now create table student the first column roll number it is integer so int 5 what is the meaning maximum i can enter 5 digit na 5 digit integers now i want to make this column roll number primary key that is this column should contain unique values and it should not contain a missing entry so if you want to make it a primary key simply write primary key here so first column name followed by type of data followed by width if condition is the write the condition name okay just put a comma backward slash continue the next one roll number followed by name it is var char maybe 10 and i want to make this column unique name should not contain duplicate entry so leave a space you can write unique comma let me continue in the next line backward slash and a total marks so you can write marks uh, let it be decimal decimal 5 comma 2 and uh, each and every statement should end with a semicolon before that 
for this opening bracket you need one more closing bracket and semicolon okay so using the statement you can create a table by the name student only three columns are there roll number name and marks now let me execute the statement you can call the function execute but it's a function of the cursor object so it should be called as cursor dot execute and the SQL statement should be passed as an argument. Okay, so we have created a table by the name student. And uh, after creating the table, nothing more to be done. So no need to make this connection alive. You can close the connection. Once the use is over, you close the connection. Okay, so connection dot close. Otherwise, you lose memory unnecessarily. You are wasting memory. So, this is the function by the name create table. So, first show tables, retrieve all the rows from context area, R contains all the rows. Check whether the table by the name student is present in R. If it is present, no problem, nothing to do. Otherwise, you create a table by the name student. This is a SQL statement and here you can execute the SQL statement. Now, the next function in the next video tutorial.